What's up everybody? Today I'm going to show you how to delete all of your search activity from Google servers in all of their data centers. Now we're not going to be pulling a Mr. Robot over here and we're not going to be hacking into their servers or data centers. We're not going to be doing a Mission Impossible like Tom Cruise or an Ocean's Eleven by breaking into a data center. That's not on the agenda. What I'm going to show you today is a very simple way to delete all of your search activity from Google servers and their data centers. And you will not get in trouble. Now, why would you want to do this? Well, maybe you want a fresh start. Or maybe you just want to delete that one search that you made that you don't want anybody to ever see. All right, so continue watching this video and I'm going to show you a very easy way to delete all of your search activity from Google servers and data centers. All right, so Google makes it very easy for you to delete all your activity and searches from their servers. All you have to do is go to myactivity.google.com while you're logged in, and you'll be able to see the various searches and your activity on Google itself. All right, so this is my activity. So what you can do is you can click over here, delete activity by. So over here it says search by keyword or filter by product, then select delete results from the more options. So you can delete by the day, by the week, last 30 days, or all time. Or you can even have a custom deletion. So let's say I'm going to delete from yesterday. You could also choose all products, meaning ads, books, developers, help, news, search, shopping, video search, everything. So you delete that. You'll get a pop-up over here saying, before you delete, your activity can make Google services more useful, like a better commute options in maps and quicker results in search. Now, you got to remember, Google is in the business of delivering relevant search results to you. So their job is to really be useful because think about it. There are millions upon millions of websites online. Everybody's blogging. Everybody's putting out information out there. But because of machine learning and artificial intelligence and the algorithm that Google uses, they're able to take all that information and deliver better results for you. But when you delete that information, those results might not be as relevant. So take that into consideration before you delete your search history and your activity. So only delete the activity if you really need to. And this is how easy it is. So you click OK. And these items will be permanently deleted from your Google account. Click on Delete. And now that's done. If we go back. We see that August 3rd, there's no information about that day because we deleted it. Now you could also customize your activity settings. So if you go over here to other Google activity, you can see all the different types of activity over here. They have the Google ad settings, download your past searches, YouTube not interested feedback, Google Play sound search history, device information, local history. That's some of your activity. You have your activity controls. You can pause your web and app activity. So you see here I have it paused. Again, by pausing it, Whenever you search for something, the relevancy to you will be diminished. But if you want to get more control over your privacy or get a better overview of the generalized search results, then you may want to pause your web activity and delete your searches and activity overall. So that's it. You just go to myactivity.google.com while you're logged in. You can selectively by day or by week delete the activity. You can click these icons here and just delete if you want. And now that's gone. Or you can delete everything in bulk. By doing this, you've effectively removed all the activity and data that Google has on you from their servers in all their data centers. All right, so that was very easy. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Share this video with your social media connections. And I will see you in the next video. Take care.